So today we're going to talk about just the basics here because I know that a lot of people are out there building websites and I just wanted to start from the very or like the very like just the very beginning with everybody and just show you kind of like what SEO is and how to do it from step one. So we have like seven steps. So basically uh, for the next, I don't know, the next seven periscopes, I'm going to take it from the very beginning of kind of what SEO is and we're going to work our way all the way up. And I'm just assuming that basically if you have a website and you're just starting out, like you could watch this scope and you could go from there to having an optimized website. So if that's interesting to you, you think it'd be interesting to your followers. What's up? It's good to see you on uh, from Spain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if that's interesting to you, interesting to your followers, feel free to share this out. Um, and we'll get going from there. But uh, yeah, so somebody from Spain saw so with the vision come on. It's good to see you all. So yeah, long time. Uh, Barry Lamar. Let's see, switch over to this right here. So let's talk about let's talk about first kind of what SEO is, uh, and and kind of like just give you some basic definitions with that before we start talking about it. And then, and then we'll talk about how we can, how you can like structure your website from, from the ground up to, to be optimized for, for search engines. So basically the most fundamental thing with SEO, SEO is search engine optimization, which is basically the idea that you're going to, or uh, it's how do you get search engines like Google or like Yahoo or like Bing uh, to actually show your website. And, um, and so it comes down to a few different ways of, of doing that, but let's let's go from the very beginning. So if 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 today you were going to decide you're going to start a website for your business, um, let's talk about the structure that you'd need to build in order to make it so it's actually smart for for SEO. Um, and this is kind of what it would look like. And um, so this is this is called like or it's like planning out a hierarchy, and so basically the idea is to 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 have it have your website make logical sense. So I'll kind of explain what these little uh, little dots mean. So if this is your home page, right? Uh, so you have your home page, and then you have probably different categories that you want to have on there. So you have uh, maybe you have your about us page or like your your blog maybe you have your shop over here and then you have something else over here so you so you have your different categories and then underneath those are different categories so like maybe underneath your shop you have um i don't know you have shoes and you have shirts and then you have this and then down below that you have even more categories underneath that and so uh that's so thinking through like the actual like progression of those is really important um, because you want to have you want to have your site be like around. So like this is this is a good example of what a great site would look like. So it's about four layers to it. Um, so the first is like where they're landing on the home page. The second is like the subcategory, and then there's some other categories underneath that. Um, but you just you want to think through it like that, and we'll explain why like it matters that you only have four clicks later. Um, but, uh, but, but kind of breaking down exactly what you're doing into those, uh, types of categories. So, and if you got any questions with that, I know it's kind of, kind of a, <laughs> a big concept. Um, but basically you're just planning it out in logical, so in a logical order. So if, if you've got questions, yeah, feel free to ask. Um, and so this, this is, this is what it kind of looked like in reality. So if, if you were making kimsrestaurant.com, uh, then, uh, so you'd have, you'd have Kim's restaurant up there and then you have menus, locations, catering, and then about, um, and so like, uh, the, the next part is to make a logical, uh, linking or link structure. So it's, it's basically like, I'll see fingers, what's up? <laughs> basically you have kids restaurant and then you have locations and then you have Chinatown. So you're, you're kind of going in a specific order here. Um, and, and, and the reason why this isn't like too like sleek or like really like compelling is because you're building this type of thing for a robot to read. Like that's legitimately what you're doing with the, with, with SEO is, is you're building it. So a robot can go through and see exactly what's going on. Um, 
And so you have Kim's Restaurant, then you have Locations, and then you have Chinatown. Um, and so this is what the, the link structure would look like that look like after that. So you have Kim's Restaurant.com, and then you have Locations, or slash Locations, slash Chinatown. And, and again, like this is, this is the type of literature that lo robots love to read because it's very, very clear what's going on. And, um, and so, so basically, so going under the assumption that, that people watching this, like wouldn't have any, uh, assumption or any prior knowledge with SEO. So this is, this, the idea here is keywords, right? So a keyword is basically a phrase that you want to show up with on Google. Um, and so exact. For example, if you are Kim's Restaurant and you're located in Chinatown, you're going to want to show up for uh, Chinatown and locations. And so, like, um, if you have all these things like specifically laid out, kind of like what we're talking about on the scope, it's going to make it easier for for Google to to show you for those specific keywords. And you want to have so this is a good rule of thumb. So it's like any any word that you want to rank for, you want to have a specific page for that. Um, and, and just like specifically dedicated to that to, to make it very specific uh, and make, make it very easy to see, oh, this is the page that they want to rank for this. Okay, um, so kind of like what we were talking about before, this sounds fancy, using a shallow link structure. Uh, but you really, so you have, the, you have the first page of your website and then you want everything to be within three or four clicks of that. Because like if, if you've been on a website and you've you found it really hard to use, it's probably because they're, uh, they're putting it like just a billion links down here, but you just want to have it very like shallow and straightforward. So you have the homepage, you have that subcategory, you have the other category, and then you're at your destination. Um, or, and, and, and you'd be surprised, like most websites you can do in this, in this structure. And it just makes it, makes it easy for users to use, which makes Google happy and also makes, um, also makes them happy as well that they're, they're able to, to get through to that, um, that structure very easily. Okay, uh, so the final final element, and this is just, so we're just talking about step one today. I'm going to try to do like seven parts to this, uh, just so like you can you can go from the very beginning to the very end, uh, but is to add an internal linking structure. Uh, so uh, this is this is basically the idea, and this is a basic concept in SEO, is just like you want to, to link one page to another page. So if you're just building a website today, uh, it's, it's a lot easier to, to do this effectively because you have fewer pages in the beginning, hopefully. Um, but uh, you basically like want to link the pages together. Hey, what's up? I, I don't know what your, uh, your username is, but welcome on. I'm doing good, doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. I'm curious if you're into uh, websites or, or linking structures. But yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, so like linking the pages together um, makes it easy for people to go from page to page. Uh, the second thing it does is it, it establishes like kind of like what we're talking about, like the thing that we built earlier or like the the page link structure is it establishes an information hierarchy. And then finally, it spreads the link juice around the website, which link juice is just this idea that you're spreading like authority from from one part of the website to to another part of the website, and so it's all kind of like linked together like that, um, and so that that kind of helps pages to to rank on on Google better. Uh, but yeah, internal linking just basically saying, hey, if you wanted to go from this page to this page, this is a link going in between it. So I'd love to hear love to hear if there's any questions with this. Like I uh, hopefully hopefully this is this is simple enough to understand. Uh, but I know if, if it's your first go around, then it's harder. <laughs> uh, but I'll essentially, I'll go back over this and I'll show you. So essentially the idea is when you're starting with your website and you're starting with SEO, you want to plan out a hierarchy. So you want to you plan out the exact structure of how things are going to go. And then, um, and then you, you, you put it into the links that way. So you, you make each page kind of like build on top of each other as far as the link structure and then um, you want to make it so there's there's no more than three or four uh, different clicks that somebody has to do in order to get to, to the end of the page um, and then finally you want to to link all the pages together uh, and so people can easily navigate from page to page but also so that Google can spread its link juice around. 
So that, in essence, is is the first step. So if you're uh, working on this today, go and do that, and then uh, then we'll talk about the second step uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. But uh, we'll show you how to do that. So here's my email. So if you're working on this and you need a little bit of help or you want to have somebody do it for you, shoot me an email at bpec at netmark.com. We are a full-service digital marketing agency, and this is what we do. So um, thanks, everybody, that showed up today, and I will talk with you all again later. Have a great one.